Good evening. Uh, it was an honor for me to be um, the director for the last two years. And I want to personally thank each of the pre freeholders for the privilege and for your support. Um, but most importantly, to the staff for their support. Uh, they have been, um, as you've heard, our staff is the best of the best. Uh, they not only guide us, uh, but they uh, have wonderful insight. And we really do have staff that care. Um, I can't thank the staff enough, along with my freeholders. Um, much was accomplished this past year, and you've heard, uh, um, in fact, some of the wind has been taken out of my speech as the liaison to uh, human services. Yes, uh, Morris View is the biggest and very important um, jewel and something that we need to um, be careful with. Uh, as you've heard, we've, we've done our due diligence and uh, we are going forward with a public-private partnership at some point. Uh, I also am the director of the budget committee and I'm proud of the budget that we presented. Um, we uh, keep the, all of residents of Morris County um, as part of the budget process. Uh, we opened it up and had a number of public meetings where we invited the public and elected officials to come in and talk about what the needs are and what is important to them here in Morris County. And I'm proud to say that the Budget Committee was able to balance the needs of all of our residents, have a small increase, and uh, we didn't cut any services. And we're very proud of that. Uh, for economic development, uh, I serve on that. And uh, we have increased funding to the EDC this year. And I'm sure there'll be more said about that. Uh, the, um, one of the things I do want to mention for human services that I'm most proud of is that we brought the Family Justice Center here to this building. It is a center, uh, it was actually the dream of Jersey Batted Women's Shelter uh, to have a one-stop place for victims of domestic violence to come in and receive the services that they need in one space. And with the help of the staff and the support of the full freeholder board, we were able to make that dream a reality for JBWS and for Morris County residents. I'm very proud of that, and that was something that was accomplished in 16. Heritage Commission, I serve. We have put the Heritage Commission in a new home. Uh, they had about three different locations for all of the uh, documents that they are responsible for. And the Heritage Commission is now over in our county library. So if you have an interest in looking at old documents and learning more about our heritage for Morris County, I welcome you to go over there and uh, seek an appointment to go in and meet with the Heritage, heritage Commission. Um, I also serve for the North Jersey Transportation Authority for the county. And I'm proud of that. I've um, joined as an executive board member this year. And it's an opportunity to put Morris View out there to, uh, ex to describe what it is we need and to move projects along and get things accomplished. There's a great deal of money when it comes to transportation. Even though we had a hiccup this year and there was a stop in some of the projects, uh, but we're very proud of uh, being active members of the NJDPA. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, which I'm most proud of as the director, is that I wanted a strategic planning uh, session with this full freeholder board. We got that accomplished this year, and with a great deal of help from freeholder Christine Myers, who I want to publicly thank for all of your involvement, along with John Bonani and Kathy Bird and many of the staff members, all of our directors who provided wonderful input um, and, again, guidance. Um, you'll see at Resolution 84 tonight, as a result of the strategic plan, we have a vision and mission. And I ask that you take some time to look at that in your um, free time. And finally, although my family has left, forgive me, but they, um, they are one-year-olds and well past their bedtime. Um, but if it wasn't for my husband and my children, 
uh, to allow me this opportunity to be here and do what I really enjoy, and that is serving residents uh, first in my hometown and now at the county level going into my fourth year. I love doing this, and as Doug says, I'll do it until I stop loving it. Um, but I enjoy it, and it's really my family that allows me that opportunity um, and uh, help me, guide me to balance both my family and my responsibilities here. And with that, I want to wish all of you a healthy and happy new year.